Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. This time I'm talking about getting more than one picture as a desktop wallpaper. Now, I'm going to randomly start this video by saying I woke up this morning and I decided I really liked that girl from Heroes, uh, Hayden Panettiere is her name. And I basically, um, what I could do first is uh, have one of her pictures as a wallpaper by just searching for her on Google and going for extra large images or large images or something and having it as a wallpaper like this but I want to actually have more than one. So how can I do it? Well I can use the power of active desktop. And I've said this in my previous video where I said you could have a, um, a web page like Google or something as um, your active desktop but this time I'm going to do pictures so I can have more than one. So um, to begin with all I need to do is open up Internet Explorer. So I'm going to say start run I explore. It will open up Explorer. I have Internet Explorer 6 but this will work on Internet Explorer 7 so if you have that little search thing over here then it will work. Um, I'm just going to search the same thing, I'm going to copy her name because I probably wouldn't be able to spell it right. Uh, Hayden Panettiere and I would like to have, uh, I'll open this up a bit, I would like to have, I like this picture so I'm going to have this as a desktop item. So very nice. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say set as desktop item. It says, do you want to add an active item to your desktop? Yes. You have chosen to make this site available offline and add it to your active desktop. OK. And it says, synchronizing, synchronization complete. And I now have her on my desktop. Oops, it may flash off just as it loads. But you can then drag her around if I want. I can then resize her. And uh, I'll have it that big, I think. And then I'll put it in the corner. Um, which is great because that means that you can have more than one and you can make sort of a collage of all these photos that you like uh, so if I was to go to and uh, get another one, this one I like as well so I have this one, uh, I'll copy the address into um, Explorer save me a good job and I'm going to set this one as a desktop item, yes ok, synchronization complete and on the desktop it'll appear there we go and uh, again it flashes a little bit and so I'm going to resize this and uh, I can keep going and keep going and keep going until I've filled up the desktop and um, every time you sign on I think when you connect to the internet it will synchronise these so if the images update with anything new then you'll always have the latest images so it may be useful if you can get like uh, a weather report or something like that um, and it's uh, just all as one image and it updates frequently or something you can then use that as um, your wallpaper and it can work as a widget which is pretty much what these are doing anyway so, um, as you can see, you can get it like this. If you want, you'll notice that when I drag near the top, I can move it around. What you can do is right click the desktop properties, um, desktop, customize desktop, web, lock desktop, dot, lock desktop items, and uh, press OK. I'm going to cancel for the minute, and then um, it basically locks these out so you can't move them, which is great. And um, this doesn't only just work for images that are on the web. So what if you have some images on your computer that you uh, really want to have as your wallpaper? So here I have a, as usual, I have a random picture of a dog and a picture of an apple. I want to have both of these as my desktop wallpaper as well as the ones that I've nabbed from the internet. So I'm going to um, right click properties. I'm going to go desktop, customize desktop again, web, and I'm just going to say new. Now the location, I'm going to browse, I'm actually going to browse to my desktop and I'm just going to select uh, dog. I'm just going to say OK because it says to add a web page or picture from the internet, enter its URL but you can actually uh, reference it to a local thing like on your desktop or from your pictures or anything like that. You just go to browse my documents, my pictures or whichever. So I'm going to press OK, you'll notice it's ticked, press OK, OK again and now I have my random picture of a dog as well as all these other pictures that I've added. So it's nice to do because it's, it saves a lot of resources because you're not, you're not having more than one thing on your desktop uh, using a program or anything, it's, using, it's built into Windows and it shouldn't really um, affect the memory usage, um, well it might do a little bit but it shouldn't do that much. So uh, you'll notice that also on this top bar you can have it so it maximises the, uh, the picture that you have or you can have it so it will open but leave your desktop icon so you can still click them because I think if you maximize it you have like a black background here or something um, where, uh, just where the text is on your icons so it might be worth doing um, so I'll, I'll just do one more time for the Apple right click properties desktop customize desktop web and uh, new I'm going to reference it to my desktop and I'm going to say Apple 
okay, okay, okay. Simple as that, and it's added the Apple to my desktop, so I now have four different pictures on my desktop. So uh, it's a great way to do it, and also you can also have a, um, a background. So I've got nothing as a background at the moment, but if I was to go back to my original background I had, um, oh it's gone, oh, I'll have to do it later. Uh, I don't know, if I choose uh, Bliss um, and stretch it, I can say OK, and you'll notice that most of my um, pictures, one of them's gone, oh no, here it's coming back. <laughs> uh, the pictures have actually stayed on my desktop, and I have a wallpaper. So you can have like 12 wallpapers in one go or something, So because um, you'll have this and then all these as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to change this back now. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to have several images as your desktop, either if they're from the web or if they're locally stored on your hard drive, then you can use the power of active desktop and it shouldn't really affect your memory usage so it's nice for making collages of people or um, holiday snaps or anything like that so uh, thanks for watching my video please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again